I'm Jeannie Wade. I'm at Sims Elementary. I teach fifth grade. I'm going to read the book called Skippy John Jones and the Big Bones by Judy Schaldner. Skippy John Jones was crazy about digging in Miss Dolly Doohiggy's garden because that's where Miss Dolly Doohiggy's dog, Darwin, buried all of his bones and nobody messed with Darwin. Two yards away, Mama Junebug Jones was hanging wash when her kitty boy blew through the sheets like a muddy wind. Hey, Pickle Pants, hollered Mama. Don't run with your mouth full. But Pickle Pants had only one thing on his mind. Dinosaurs. I'm going to be a famous paleontologist, whispered J Skippy John Jones, arriving in his room. Then he popped a pickle in his puss. He slapped some glue all over his new found bone and stuck it into his model. And you are my Skipposaurus, he added out loud. Skipposaurus, declared Mama Junebug Jones, coming into the room. Those bones belong to Darwin, and you better take them back for your prehistoric fossil is that snoozing doggy snack. And do it now, ordered Mama, before he wakes up. But the kitty boy had no intention of returning Darwin's bones before he bounced on his big boy bed. First he pounced and wiggled, then he bounced and giggled. All the way up the ceiling, he chanted, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed because I love to eat pickles that tickle my head. Then he flung himself over to the mirror for a head check. Holy hairballs, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling out his tape measure. That's one huge cabeza. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he added, My ears are too big for my head and my head won't fit into my bed. I know I'm not a Siamese cat. I'm a chihuahua. And quicker than you can say chunky chihuahuas and cream, the kitty boy picked up his cape and pulled on his mask. Then he began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Kepito Fresquito, and I hunt for the dinosaurito with a gigantical ears that's been buried for years under layers of sedimentico. At the same time, the kitty boy's sisters, Jujube, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were in Miss Doohickey's yard watching Darwin sleep. This is fun, said Jezebel. Lots of fun, agreed Billy Boo. The most fun added Juju B. But Skippy John wasn't thinking Darwin. He was thinking dinosaurs, and he knew where to find them deep within his closet. Whoa, said Skippy Doll. It's a jungle in here. But as soon as he stepped over the threshold, his snifferito picked up the scent of his old amigos, Los Chimichangos. Stinkitos, called out Skippy John Jones. I smell you, but I don't see you. It is I, El Skippito Fresquito, the great sword fighter. I'm here, Skippito, hollered the chihuahuas. We are toasting Los Marshmallitos, Prehistoricitos. Not the prehistoric marshmallows, exclaimed Skippito. See, si, dude, replied the doggies, but they are as hard as rocas. That's because they are fossilitos, said Skippy Skippito. Fossilitos, chamaslitos, declared Poquito Tiquito, the smallest of the small ones. He wants to see los dinosaurios with our own ojos, he said, pointing to his eyes. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because Bobicito, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, 
We hear they are really, really, really big, dude. This news made the chihuahuas go insane around the rim of the volcano, singing, ding a ling ding a long ding a lito You are such a sl- silly skipito. You know what dogs think. If it's good, it must stink. Plus, it's great for the old snifferito. But right in the middle of their romp, Mount Itchy Gitchy Goomba blew its top, tossing the doggies right on their rumpitos. Because boom, 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 the earth began to tremble and shake. Terremoto shouted, Poquito Tito, panic stricken, it's not an earthquake, said Skipito, peeking through the bushes. It's a Temehiquito. And he wasn't the only dinosaur There was big ones and small ones, feathered and bald ones. Some were spiky and frilled with a look that could kill. And they were all doing the very same thing. They were dancing. Ay caramba, it's the rumba, cheered the chimichangas. And before Skipito could warn them, the rascal Galitos had shimmied and shook their way into the dance line. This is loco, wailed Skipito. You will be crushed like Crispitos beneath the dinos. Talk toes, titos. But the papitos did not hear. They were too busy singing. Itchy gitchy goomba, dinos do the rumba with jumbo jaws and giant claws with horns and beaks and scaly peaks. Itchy Gitchy Goomba, Chimichangos do the Roomba, with great big hearts and tiny parts, with knobby knees and lots of fleas. Itchy Gitchy Goomba. But something had to be done to save them, and quicker than you can say, Pachi Farallosaurus. Skipito let out a big Jurassic. Oh, bark! Holy hot, holy toasters, roared the team Mexicito. The smell, the pickled breath of a skippy sorito. I am not a skipposaurus, declared Skipito, whipping off his mask. I'm a chihuahua. Not the pillow fighting, ankle biting, pickle dripping, dino tripping, chihuahua they, they call. El Skipito Fresquito. The great sword fighter shrieked the team Mexido. Oh, see, this is me and Skipito with a bow. Then quicker than you can say, Don Diego's de Minos, every dinosaurio stopped, dropped, and rolled away. Where's the fuego? Dudes, asked Papito Tito. There's no fire, said Skipito. They're just going extincto. Muy bueno, Skipito. We love the stinkito, agreed the chihuahuas, and they tossed them into the air. Durr, durr, durrito, clap. We learned something new from Skipito. He scares them to death with his old pickled breath, and that's how we get fossilitos. Then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. The earth began to tremble and shake. Every head popped up and sniffed. Dinosaurios, whispered the perritos. No, said Skipito, they are extincto. Si, sí, said the chihuahuas. Es muy stinkito. But it wasn't the dinosaurios that smelled. It was Darwin, and he was not not knocking on Skippy's closet door. Then click, the door opened and out tumbled the kitty boy on an avalanche of old dog bones. The next thing he knew, the kitty boy was waking up on the couch. What happened? said Skippy John. Don't you remember? Sugar beet? asked Mama June Bug Jones. You decided to return Darwin's dog bones. All of a sudden, asked Jimmy, Skippy, that's right, Dumplin', said Mama. 
proudly. That very same night, the kitty boy found Mr. Perfect still sitting in the corner of all covered in bones. My Skipposaurus, he whispered. Then he dragged the cat over to his big boy bed for a good night bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I'm not a dog fighter, but I still have some bones because I'm the decider. Then he decided to go to sleep. Thank you for, I hope you enjoyed the book.